This is my genius business card hack. It's a QR code and not just any QR code. No, 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 no. It's a special QR code because if you scan this code, it will take you to my Linktree account. And if you're a real estate agent, you can create a special button that allows users to save your contact information directly to their phone contacts. Because you know what? In real estate, we don't get ready. We stay ready. And if you're new here, my name is Larissa, aka La to the R E double S A. And this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters keep it real estate so you can become that real estate agent. So subscribe if that sounds like your vibe. Now to begin, we need to first have a Linktree account made. Personally, I just use the free version of Linktree. It does exactly what it, what it needs to do for me at this point. So I'm good with the free version. Now this is just the homepage and the particular link that we are going to be adding is here. So you see this button, add link. And we are going to look for this link here, contact details. If you can't find it, you can search for it, but typically it's this kind of maroon purple color. So go ahead and click on that. Now, this is where we would put in all of our contact information, but first I'm going to give this a bit of a CTA call to action. So I'm gonna say, add me to your contacts something like that you can add in an emoji for fun let's look for that phone one that looks like this you can add do that and there we go and then you can see here that this is what that link would look like then this is where you can go ahead and put in all of your details your name your occupation organization position email phone address and any other notes here so opening hours and just juice that up. So I'm gonna save you the time. Go ahead and knock yourself out with that. Now, a few things to note here is if you go over to link settings to layout, there is this new look for your layout. So typically here we have the classic one, which is just the straight button, or you can change it into this to, to give it a more bigger look. You can put a bigger thumbnail there, but I just like the classic look in my opinion. So that looks pretty sufficient. Obviously, I didn't put any information here. So if you click this, it's it's not gonna do nothing. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. And at this point, once you create that button, you can also, if you wanted to, add in a thumbnail here. So you can add in a thumbnail, you can upload your own, or you can choose a thumbnail here. So if you upload your own, I would just create a little graphic on canva or just literally put in a profile picture of yourself so there you go but i'm just going to leave that blank for now because we have that emoji already in there and at this point once you have that button made and you have your link tree to the way that you like it we are now going to download our qr code directly from Linktree and to access that we got to go up to the share button here click share and then go here to my link tree code click on that and very simply i'm just going to download just the png version of this and then there we go now at this point we're going to head over into canva so to make things really easy we are just going to be looking for in my case iphone iphone wallpaper team apple my friends let me know in the comments down below if you're team apple or android let me know but in, in any case you just want to go ahead and pick a wallpaper that you like. You can keep it really simple or you can look for these kind of collage ones. These are really fun. But anyways, I have already chosen mine already and I've already finessed it. So this is my design here. And I kept it really simple. This is what the original design looked like here. And all I really did was just add in my QR code. Now to do that, you can upload your QR code directly into your uploads here on the left hand side, or you can actually upload your logo or your, sorry, your QR code into your brand kit, which I recommend because you might need it later on. So this is my particular brand kit here. And if I wanted to, let's say, add this as a graphic here, I can hit edit and I can go in and hit this plus button and we can go in and upload the Let's see, you go into our downloads and hit, where is the, did it save to our downloads? Hold on, give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, 
so I'm back. It did download. For some reason, it's not pulling it, so I wonder if I can drag and drop like that. There we go. And then just hit save. So I'm just going to duplicate this to show you kind of what I did. Now, because this QR code here is literally just this, it's a PNG with a transparent background. Obviously, it might be a little bit hard for that person's camera to pick up and read. So in this case, what I'm going to do is go into elements and just grab one of these squares here. Make it white like that. And then I'm just going to go into positions, go into layers over here, and I'm going to pull this back. And then you just kind of situate it just like that. And there you go. Pretty much that's what it looks like. Now, for this particular design, I kind of pushed the QR code lower, a little bit lower down the page because typically for iPhones, the timestamp is like right here. So I still wanted to be able to read that and have that QR code uh, ready to go. So that way, when you're out about networking with people, if you don't have your business cards, you can just be like, hey, scan my phone, your iPhone and then they can scan it go to their to your link tree download your contacts and then if you have your social links in there like your instagram and youtube get them to follow you so you can follow them back and then make sure you get them to subscribe to your youtube channel okay you know what's up at this point now we are ready to download this to our computers or our phones so there's two ways that we can go about doing this if you're like me and you are a team apple you can download this directly to your desktop and then airdrop it to your iPhone this way. But if you are not having that uh, that way, airdropping, then there's another way you can actually go about doing this. So you wanna make sure that you have the Canva mobile app installed onto your phone and you're already logged in because we can go into this share button again up here. Click on that. If we go down to more, click on that, and then go to send to phone. This is going to bring up a special Canva QR code. Essentially, if we go ahead and take our phones here, okay, live time, go into here and zoom in. There we go. And then we have our Canva doc opened in the app and you very well let me just make sure i turn my accessibility on so you can see what i'm touching go up to here to the download then go over here to download and then i'm just going to download just the first page hit done here then hit download and this will save directly to your phone's library and then at this point you are ready to just save it to your phone as the iphone wallpaper or phone wallpaper so if you made it to the end of this video then you know what it is you know what to do comment down below hashtag and crew so i know you made it to the very end and that you are a real one i hope you give this a try and if you want to learn more about linktree specifically for real estate agents then check out this dedicated tutorial right over here and if you are ready get ready to click in three two one